This is Becca's recommended spray gun cleaning procedure for the S300A, manual automatic solvent spray gun cleaner. Let's review the manual process. Clean the spray gun as soon as possible after using it. Dispose of the paint left in the spray gun into an approved waste container. Using the solvent selection switch, turn it to use solvent. Using the flow brush power pistol selection switch, turn it to flow brush. Pre-rinse the spray gun with used solvent from the flow brush and pour the pre-rinse into the approved waste container. Be sure to trigger the gun over the container. Remove the air cap and place it in the spray gun cleaner. Attach the quick disconnect to the spray gun to protect the air passageway. Turn the power clean switch on to activate the compressed air. Clean the fluid tip and fluid entry passageway aggressively with the flow brush. Clean the air cap with the flow brush, making sure to clean the small holes in each air horn. Using the power pistol, flush the fluid passageway completely while triggering the spray gun to create air and fluid flow. Using the solvent selection switch, turn it to clean solvent. Again, power flush the fluid passageway completely with the power pistol for three to five seconds. The spray gun is now ready for the drying process. Now let's review the automatic process. If the automatic process is used and once you have disposed of the paint left over and pre-rinsed the spray gun, remove the air cap and place it in the cleaner. Using the solvent selection switch, turn it to use solvent. Attach the quick disconnect to the spray gun to protect the air passageway. Turn the power clean switch to the on position to activate the compressed air. Clean the fluid tip and fluid entry passageway aggressively with the flow brush. Clean the air cap with the flow brush, making sure to clean the small holes in each air horn. Attach the trigger clip. Place the spray gun over one of the extended flow nozzles and the air cap over one of the recessed nozzles. Close the lid and engage the safety switch. Turn the power clean valve on and then the solvent selector to use solvent. Next, turn on the wash basin valve. The time frame will vary based on the color being cleaned. Longer for most reds and whites and for guns with dried paint. Then turn the solvent selector to clean solvent for three to five seconds to rinse off the residues. Turn the wash basin off and reverse the sequence to remove the spray gun. It is now ready for the drying process. Finally, let's review the process of drying the spray gun. With the air still connected, trigger and shake the spray gun to expel the solution. Wipe down the outside of the spray gun and disconnect the QD. Replace the air cap. Your spray gun is now dry and clean ready for its next use.
These processes are shown on the laminated poster supplied by Becca.